I'm back. Have you guys missed me? Holding my shirt, no reason I never hold my hair. My bitch is so nasty. That's what you see and what you do. I cannot. I don't know. She sings. I missed you guys so, so, so much. And you know what was crazy? Like, I have been filming. But it's that editing that's so rigorous and like annoying and like I don't know but I'm trying to get back focused again because I have a mission you know like I really want to do this I really enjoy being like on camera and show you guys and hearing you guys feedback and stuff like that and um I don't know like it just got distracted I guess you could say but it's okay neither here nor there um all right y'all so hey so okay so i'm going in with some um dewy skin cream by tatcha you know just getting the face all dewed up i like a nice moisturized face before i go in with any type of makeup because my skin is already super dry so and then with the powder on top of that it just um it needs a little bit more oil to soak up i'm going with a couple of time essential oils drops i love these i've been using these for years um it just again it's just another moisture layer for all the powder to kind of soak up then because my um my skin is so dewy now i just like to go in with a powder puff with some um finishing powder or loose powder you can say and go in with the eyebrows it just makes the pencil um the pencil can just do its job a lot better um when the base is more dry and i have like that nice powder um layover you see it's kind of laying pretty nicely um i just feel like the the pencil is just more pigmented so i'm just going in doing my eyebrows starting with the bottom getting a nice little curved um base and going on top to give it that shape and um just brushing out that uh the beginning of the brow to keep it uh feathered and light and not too blocked because we don't like i don't like block brows and my eyebrows are pretty much already um, thick. I don't have to do too much. The powder was acting weird, so I had to like, like dust some of that off. Now I'm going in with the NYX um, Concealer Serum, the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And I'm just cleaning up that brow. And I use this with a nice flat, dense brush. I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the 15 Neutral. This is like one of the only foundations that I picked out like online. Well, there's two. There's the ABH and this one. And I get them such perfect matches. But for some reason, like when I go into Sephora or I go into like a makeup store, I cannot get my match correct. The lights are terrible. I like I know that I'm like a golden, a deep golden kind of color. And I don't know, I always just pick something so red in store. It, it just happens to me every time. Uh, making sure, you know, a nice clean base. I try to avoid those under eye areas because you're gonna be packing a lot of concealer there anyway. And I don't know, I was told that, you know, it'll help you crease less if you don't put the foundation under there, which I'm not sure is true, but um, we just go with it. And I'm just kind of, I use my complexion concealer as like a color corrector. Instead of going in with like orange or something like that, I just go in with my color. And I switch, I keep, I keep picking like red 
red foundations, red concealers, so it works. Because this is a little bit more red, which you really can't tell because of the warm lighting. But it's definitely a lot more red than I would like it to be. But it works because I can kind of color correct as well as conceal those areas. I'm just taking the same brush, my foundation brush, and just making sure that everything is blended. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Not too much, though, not too much. And I low key shouldn't look so high. So the girls are putting concealer on their nose now. right here did y'all not see that I'm sorry if y'all didn't see that just right there mm, girl we yellow it's giving yellow we're gonna let that sit for a minute. This also the Anastasia Cream Bronzer and Chestnut. The NARS came out with their own and I was like, damn, I should have just waited. But this is cool. It's a little muddy, I'm not gonna lie. It's just a lot of product and it's just really muddy. But it's fine. Um I'm gonna take this brush, I guess, and dip her in. I'm gonna like Spread her out a bit because y'all yeah, she's muddy but it's okay so we're gonna go up so my contour is really like here but I go even further up because I want to be snatched and I could have probably went darker with this Yeah, but you, I be, I don't, I don't like fucking around with dark ass con, uh, contour because that will start looking like shit real quick. <laughs> Omg, this is a Morphe brush. I don't know, it's like dense and weird looking. Wait, it's like dense. Just struggling right now, y'all. But it's dense. And then I get the little bottom of my mouth, bottom of my cheekbone. Because we're looking for a snatch effect. Yeah. We are getting some weight with the worst snatch effect. Yeah. I'm going to put a little of the remainder on the forehead. Because I have a little forehead. I don't have to do much work. I love my forehead. You know you big forehead bitches is lucky. Last time I put on a lace front, my fucking edges was back here. I was like, oh, never again. The beauty blender, since it's such a muddy product, the beauty blender is going to soak up some of that product and um, give me a nice, like, skin finished blend play. Y'all, this video should be called Get Ready With Me While the... Get Ready... Oh. What is it? Well, I had the fucking idea in my head and it disappeared. It said don't. Don't say that. This is so yellow. I love it though. 
I don't know if I want my under eyes to be yellow or like like because I am a golden brown like I have touches of golden like that golden yellow in my skin like on my body and I like to match it like to match my face with my body obviously so I don't know if I really want like a golden brown or what but I like this I don't know I like the yellow so and again I'm like a warm golden color so those yellows work good on my skin and blending out any um patchiness that may come from the concealer and the foundation meeting making sure it's all on one accord one level I had a friend who told me that my nose, this was a while ago, that my nose looks like a fucking landing strip. And that shit has stuck with me my entire life. So when I do, I when I'm doing liquid, I only do liquid. I don't go on top of anything with anything. I only like liquid, like because you can sculpt the liquid. Powder is to set it. So use this time that you're the liquid to sculpt your face. Do what you want to do, but that's what I do. Rem Beauty. By the way, Rem Beauty is so good, but it's thick. I would wear Rem Beauty like if I was like a mom on the go. Yeah. Like. Rem Beauty is the type of product that I can just take my fingers and just rub it. Just rub it in. Like. You can just and rub it in, and that's that. All right, I'm going to yeah, like warm lighting is just so fucking cute. I'm just gonna make sure light taps because I don't want it to move any product I'm gonna use what I use to do my brows because that one has a lot of lighter product on it and it might work actually let me see yeah because it's like less product give it a nice like gradient And I'm 
just blending out the edges, making sure that the contour and the highlight is meeting and becoming friends and they like each other. And they're gonna be besties living on the same block, period. Now I'm taking a powder puff. I showed you in the beginning how I use these. I go in with the powder on the powder puff. Um, kind of like stamp it down on the back of my hand. Don't really blend it, but like just stamp it down just to take any excess powder off. Powder puff can pick up a whole lot of powder. So I just, you know, you just kind of dull it down a little bit and make it buildable versus just putting a bunch of powder on your face. And I love these powder puffs, they're literally amazing. I know you shouldn't, I know you shouldn't like use beauty blenders like more than once without washing them, but like let's just be honest here guys. And with the powder puff, like I don't have to mix my powder and my liquid on one thing and have to keep going back every day and using it. I can use the powder puff for powder and my beauty blender for the liquid. Um, the Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Face Powder in the color Hazelnut. I love this product. I don't know if it's because it's just very finely milled or what, but I just, I don't know. When you guys see it wipe away, it's gonna get bad. Now I'm going with my bronzer, the Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony, which is my fave. You know, I use it every video, and I can't find anything else that gives me what it gives. So yeah, I'm going with the Black Radiance Face Powder. And going in all those contoured areas, all those bronzed areas, and putting more color back into the face. Because now I'm going in with my Morphe Bronzer Velvet Matte Press Powder, which I actually think is a bit more gray. Looking at this, I'm not sure, but it's darker. So, um, yes, I just went to a British accent. Is that all right with you? No, just kidding. Um, I go in uh, with the darker powder. And I don't go as large on the face with, as I do with the red and the brown that I use with the black radiance. I just go in the depths of my face where the depths of the contour is. Um, and just give it some more dimension. I'm going in again with that black radiance pressed powder because my nose doesn't need to be that dark. I'm going with the Juvia's Place Volume 1 Blushed Duo. Sorry guys, I had the warm light on, which I love, but it corrodes the color. So um, just Google what it really looks like. There's like an orange and like a, like a, I don't even know what that is. It looks more like reddish brown, but the color payoff is different than what it looks like in the pot anyway. That's the orange that I have on my, on my, um, on my cheeks like the orange one the light orange putting some color in the face on the nose y'all be lying Co this is what cold girl makeup is you move instead of doing like the sun kiss over the nose bridge blush you do it on the tip of the nose that makes you look cold <laughs> that's all that is y'all This is how I use the Micro Smooth Multitasking Face Powder in the same color as my skin complexion. I just go on top of it, on top of my highlight with it, just to like calm it down a bit. Like, give it that, like, you know, so I don't look so white, so light skinned on top of my face. The only way for your makeup to come out good is if you have a party when you're doing makeup with yourself. I love to listen to music and do my makeup. It's like my favorite part of the day. All right, so we're going in with the MAC Lip Liner and Chestnut, you know, lining out that lip. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream. I actually prefer the heat. I love a little good lip plump, as you guys know, but I think this is Fenty Glow.
the airbrush um setting spray by charlotte tilbury it gives a nice dewy glow i'm going in with my beauty supply lip liner you know that that dark color that i always use yeah that one um because the it wasn't given enough some highlight you guys see the name up there i'm going in with some highlight because Miss Sizzle loves a good nose highlight, and I do too. And I love a little highlighting inner corner as well. It was just looking bare in the inner corners. They had, I'm a little, you know, like a little glam. I'm going in with the One Size Beauty um, Until Dawn Setting Spray, which is a little bit more matte to combat like all that super dewiness. So that's my little secret. I go in with a dewy setting spray and then I go in with a matte setting spray. This look put me in such crazy imposter syndrome, y'all. When I, cause first of all, Nazira, Nazira always breaks it. I love her, I think that's how you say her name. I'm not even sure. I'm gonna just put a put a picture of um, her Insta. Cause I know she did the eye look. I If you look at the credits, her eye makeup was from Nazira. And I am obsessed. This shit put me in imp like can I was like, can I do this? I don't even know. I don't even know. And I'm just I get all in my head and I'm like, I can't do it. And I'm like, fuck it. And then one day I was literally sitting here, bored as hell. Um I was like, let me just go ahead and try. And I had a base on already, so all I had to do was the eyes. And it came out so good. People loved it on Insta. So I was like, you know what? And that's my problem, like. I need to just go ahead and just keep the camera rolling because I feel like I come up with I come up with such good like looks but what happens is I never fucking film them so all you get is like the last like the look not the progress of the look look you know mm, yeah so yeah I want to thank you guys for coming and watching my video and being a part of my journey and follow me on YouTube, subscribe, hit like, comment, let a girl know you're watching because I love you guys. Like literally, you guys' comments, even when they're negative, like honestly, no one likes negative comments, but even when they're negative, it's like somebody's watching like I'm actually doing something then I had some girl she was like um this deserves more views and I'm like sis I know I know but we get it there we get it there and like I'm not even, I got to get out of that mindset of like I'm doing this for views. I'm not doing this for views I'm doing this to have fun I'm doing this to um actually pursue something I've always wanted to do so like yeah and i have all these new products that i wanted to show you guys all right y'all thank you for watching i love y'all i'll see you guys next time